a new vending machine dispenses life-saving medication rather than soda and snacks. News 18's Joe Paul is live tonight at the Tippecanoe County Community Corrections Building. Joe, you're going to be telling us about this new vending machine and giving us a little demonstration. Yeah, hey Jeff, let me show you how this works. You just press a couple buttons here on the vending machine. This vending machine holds up to 300 doses of naloxone and it distributes them totally free of charge just like that. Let me grab this for you. So this is a naloxone kit. It's also no known as Narcan and it's a nasal spray that reverses opioid overdoses. Just literally walk up, press the number and you receive your uh, naloxone kit. It's free of charge and away you go. No sugary drinks or junk food here. So these are the uh, naloxone uh, kits. Jason Hubert inside. says this machine vends life-saving medication. So we are at Tippecanoe County Community Corrections uh, and we're happy to um, kind of debut the uh, naloxone vending machine. It's a very seamless process. It works like any other vending machine, you know, that has candy or pop. It's one of 19 such vending machines available statewide in an effort by Governor Eric Holcomb to combat the opioid epidemic. Here's Holcomb's top drug advisor, Douglas Huntsinger. Naloxone vending machines hold about 300 doses. Uh, we place them in areas like um, jails, community corrections, hospitals, um, places where you have a lot of traffic. And it's a no barrier, no shame. Uh, you just go right up to a vending machine. It looks like uh, anything that would dispense uh, candy or potato chips. A crucial resource as the super potent opioid called fentanyl rips through Indiana. It is so lethal, so deadly, uh, that we're finding that uh, without naloxone, we're not even giving people a chance at, at getting into treatment and finding recovery. The fentanyl is killing individuals uh, before, they, before they can make it to one of those intervention points. That's why Huber's urging the community to come use the vending machine, no questions asked. We don't check IDs, we don't do any of that. It's just a way for uh, somebody to get um, a life-saving device in their hands should they need it. And each one of these kits also contains instructions as well as referrals to mental health and substance abuse resources in the community. Reporting live in Tippecanoe County, Joe Paul, News 18.